So today we're here to welcome the research group on Hamburg post-colonial legacies at the Institute of Anthropology and Cultural Research at Bremen University. Why did you invite them to come here tonight? Yeah, my name is Cordula Weisskoppel. I'm a teacher here at the Institute of Anthropology and Cultural Research. And um, we deal a lot with questions of decolonization. And of course, uh, Bremen is part of this <laughs> um, uh, endeavor, uh, as well as Hamburg as a colonial uh, city uh, during colonial times. Bremen and Hamburg were quite important harbors and strategic yeah, points of departure, so to speak, for uh, colonial enterprises. And therefore, it's so uh, interesting that we have a new uh, research um, center at University of Hamburg, uh, headed by uh, Professor uh, Dr. Zimmerer, a historian uh, on uh, global history, uh, who have founded the special research group on uh, Hamburg's post-colonial legacy, but um, ethnographic collections and archives from colonial times in Bremen are also involved. And this is the reason why we thought it would be very interesting and productive uh, to invite the group to come uh, for one evening to our university as well. So I heard about this exhibition from Where Do We Speak? And as you're a member of this research group, would you please just introduce yourself? Sure, <laughs> I, can, I can start. My name is Vishita Jehavine, or Vishi for short. I am a visual artist and I work with different mediums. Um, and for my contribution for this exhibition, um, I did uh, a series of collages and then also um, some photo installation in the museum using mirrors um, and then a light installation in this central uh, vitrine in the museum. Um, so these, these are my contributions but I work mostly with visuals and I also work with, um, I worked in this particular case with the photographs from the archive directly. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm Ulrike Peters. I'm a historian, I'm doing my PhD um, in this project and I work on photographic collections in the Museum am Rotenbaum with the Mark in Hamburg. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> so and um, now let's talk about the exhibition itself. When is it and where exactly in Hamburg? Um, we had uh, our exhibition opening in two locations, so actually it's on show right now in two locations at Mark and then an alternative art space that is about five minutes away from Mark called Embassy. And this space um, represents or supports uh, artists and art from Africa and the diaspora. So we wanted to kind of uh, use these two spaces to respond to this colonial archive. Oh, okay. And I hear it already opened, but till when can visitors go there? Um, in the mark, it is uh, open until the mid-April, mm -hmm. the 12th of April, and um, at Embassy until mid-February. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what is it exactly about? Can you just <laughs> make it like a short overview? Um, we all engage with a photo collection of the mark, and um, we engage from different perspectives with the topic of the German colonialism, mostly in, in Namibia. Um, yeah, from artistic and historic um, positions. And uh, what is the reason for this exhibition? <laughs> well, for one, um, the, the, the topic itself that we focus on is the German colonial period in Namibia, uh, which is also kind of marked by violence and, and colonial genocide. And this project is a transnational collaboration. So we have artists from Namibia, myself and um, two other colleagues who are also from Namibia, um, and then uh, working with a research center in Germany and then also working with a colonial archive that's housed in Germany. 
Um, so it was just a, another way to engage with this topic, which is very difficult to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, and in this instance, um, art is, is one way to engage with something that is really, really difficult. Um, and we've managed to do that and keep the conversation going. Yeah, and, and bring it in a, in a broader public. Yes. Like with an exhibition that is more accessible than just talking about it in university or in politics. Yeah, so you thought it's a better idea to make this topic to the audience, like when you do it in an artistic way, then more people can go there and inform themselves. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. 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 And just one more question. Um, in which way is your current exhibition a statement on the public debate that most of the objects from the colonial times are still in the former colonial countries? <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Would you like to start with this one? <laughs> um, well, I think, and it was the central question also in our project, um, how we engage or should we at all engage with a photo collection or the colonial legacy that is so heavy and violent and especially when you work with photographs it is quite obvious and you don't just want to hang these pictures on the wall mm -hmm. so it needs a different kind of approach to, to work with that yeah yeah and yeah like what she said that there's a different there needs to be a different approach and also throughout this process of, of working in the museum and researching and also taking part in conferences and workshops and um, you get these debates that are going on and how to display objects and how to display and even just how to uh, narrate or tell a history that, that is violent mm -hmm. um, and exclusive. Um, so I think, I think we tried in different ways to break certain conventions, um, certain display practices. Of course, in others, we weren't so successful just because of museum protocols. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we made a statement also by uh, pulling in a space like Embassy mm -hmm. um, and using that space to kind of question the authority of the museum and yeah. to say that um, this kind of uh, cultural institution is not the center of world culture yeah. um, and, and in some cases shouldn't be yeah. considered. But at the same time we felt it is necessary to also have the dialogue within that colonial yes, institution. Yes, absolutely. And yeah. We wanted to engage with that museum in order to critique it from within. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think what is quite important as far as I'm informed, the exhibition will move to Namibia as well. Well, hopefully, yes. yeah. Hopefully. We we okay. have we have plans for this, but we'll see um, how things unfold yeah. in the next few months. I yeah. see. Okay. Depending on budget and all these. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, but there are also exciting um, interventions happening in Namibia and outside of our project, and this is just one instance in one project. Um, but I also just, as an artist, I look forward to seeing what more comes out there from other from other artists yeah, yeah. of course yeah. yeah yeah and i think just one more question would be interesting and what do you hope to affect with this exhibition yeah i think what you just mentioned a little bit that we have a broader public in this discourse and um, also to maybe even inspire further work on this yeah. topic and also to um, try to have different approaches, not only through the history or not only through science, but or also politics as exactly, well. Exactly, like yeah. just with the art, because also me as a historian, I, I really learned that you can also display history in an, um, with an artistic approach and yeah. do it differently. And that was, that was a very interesting experience. Yes, yeah, so, so you just want that more people get involved in this whole discussion about exactly. this very Absolutely. important yeah. thing. Absolutely, yeah. and then spreading that, that knowledge. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of people who don't know what happened in Namibia, yeah. including people in Namibia mm -hmm. as well. Um, also people constantly saying that the German colonialism, the German colonial period was so short, so it didn't have to, such a deep impact. impact, but really to see, yeah, it had. And, and yeah. Yeah, I think that's through an exhibition even um, more easy to, to understand 
for the people. Yeah, because I think it always has an impact on some people. So yeah. Yeah. we hope so. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. I think that's it from my side. Would you like? Yeah, well, to that's say exactly <laughs> why I'm so glad <laughs> uh, to have you here tonight for our further discussion uh, during the evening, because we are also exactly working on that challenge: how we can uh, broaden. Um, the knowledge and the yeah, awareness about uh, German colonialism and uh, its impact until nowadays. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming. Thank you for having us. <laughs>